Greetings YouTube. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Um, yeah, it should be working. It should be working. Should be okay. All right. Yeah. For today's video, um, as the title says, we're going to talk about uh, the girls' future languages. The languages they're going to be learning in the future. Uh, the language they're being exposed to right now um, at this age and how I'm going about choosing their languages for them. So first of all, the most important thing is the exposure. Uh, right now, Obviously, they're exposed to Chinese, Mandarin, Taiwanese. Um, <clears throat> they're getting the most from those as my uh, wife is a native speaker of those languages. And then, of course, English. So they're hearing those languages um, every day uh, in a lot of different situations. You know, taking baths, eating, playing, you know, you know, life. Things that, you know, we do in life. So they're getting a lot of exposure with those languages. And then on top of the media stuff obviously English and then um, <clears throat> some languages that they're exposed to or since they've been watching the iPad um, Japanese, Korean, Russian, uh, Spanish, um, Telugu, I've mentioned that before that I see that here and there but not as much as these other ones then we have Italian and we have French and what other ones did I see them and I think that's it. Did I say Russian? I think I mentioned Russian already. I made some videos. I, I got a lot of other videos that I'm going to upload to show you guys where I just sneak up on them to see what they're watching. But yeah, those, like how I'm going about choosing their languages for the future is just seeing which languages they're attracted to. You see, I'm, I don't choose programs for them. Like they know how to control the iPad. They know how to watch certain videos. Um, of course, I have to monitor them make sure they're not you know, watching anything inappropriate, but they pretty much choose all of the um, the children's shows, and it's so random, like, one day it'll be Russian, one day it'll be French, and they will actually sit there and watch the whole program, I mean, the program could be like 20, 30 minutes, they will literally sit there and watch it through, and um, that's a good sign, so that's just showing me that um, I need to pay attention and see which languages that they're choosing, which ones they're attracted to. And those are the languages that they, 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 um, they're attracted to the most. And this is every day. Now, the past week or so, um, I noticed that they've been doing a lot of Korean. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about this cartoon called Pololo. It's a little, um, what is it? It's like a little duck um, and some other animals. And I think it's Korean made too, originally. But they have the program, the show in Korean, and they uh, they tend to watch that. They've been watching that consistently for the past several weeks. Um, they, there are some other languages going on, but I noticed that they've been watching a lot of Korean. So that's how I'm going to go about choosing their languages. I'm not just I'm not just choosing languages. Say, oh, you're going to learn this, like you know, I want you to learn Somali or something. You know, I'm not going to do that. It's just the exposure. I got to see what they're being exposed to. So I mean, if you guys are planning to have kids in the future this is something that you can do just um, I would say around the age of two around there you know get them like a little tablet or something to where they can control and watch different shows and see what you know just go off of what they choose um, and see what they like and you can you can go from there so it's just like seeing what the uh, what do they say um, paying close attention to your children's talents what they're good at and you know capitalize capitalize off that lead them into a direction that will make them grow you know that's sort of what I'm trying to do with the language thing so I like I said I have several languages that I've been seeing them watch and being you know um, enjoying listening to so I'm going to take advantage of that um, what, else, what, what else I want to mention oh yeah so as far as the Chinese is concerned you know, it's, see, when you're living in the U.S., you really got to, um, you, you really got to make a, um, a, a, a an effort, like, you really got to work hard, put a lot of effort into making sure your child or children learn their language, because when you're in this type of environment where it's predominantly English, it's very easy to just, you know, want to speak that all the time, rather than, rather than learning, you know, the original language. And some parents, they don't really try to teach their... I mean, they, they, I think they speak to them, they can understand, but they don't try to 
they up there playing. They don't really put like 100% into getting them to learn language. Hence, the kids, they will grow up, you know, 18 during their, their teens, not really knowing the language well. And uh, I don't want that to happen with my girls. So I'm paying close attention and we have made plans. I mean, even before they we, even before they were here, I talked to my wife about it. We made plans on, of what we're going to do for them in terms of them learning the language. So like one of our plans is to send them, <clears throat> they will be going to Taiwan every year for at least two to three months to, uh, you know, spend time with the family. Uh, that's that's something that we talked about even before they were here. We didn't have any kids. Uh, for them to go over to Taiwan during the summer or, you know, anytime they're not in school and just spend the time over there um, with the family, hanging out with them. I mean, I may go with them sometime. My wife may go with them, but definitely they're going over there to spend some time, at least two to three months or maybe even longer. It all depends, but it's, that's what, what's going to happen. Um, another thing that, and this was my idea, was um, I decided that what I want to do for them, I know it's once a week, but they have these schools. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of them. They have these Saturday schools for um, American-born Chinese, American-born Japanese or whatever. Remember, <clears throat> you guys remember when I was in Chicago, Marcel, we were in a Japanese place and I was talking to a Japanese guy and he told me that he was born. I asked him where he's from. He said he's born here, but he um, he said he was attending some Japanese schools and that those are the schools I'm talking about on top of having someone to speak with at home. And I'm sure he goes over to Japan uh, to visit um, his, his relatives. So, and he spoke really well. And that's how I want my daughters to be, you know. Um, they, they grew up here, but I want to make sure they get plenty of exposure with that language. I mean, Chinese is the most important language for them because that's, that's, you know, that's the other side of the family. They need, they need that language, um, Mandarin and Taiwanese. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. I get a lot of messages. People ask me how, how's it going with the girls and the languages and stuff. I made a couple of videos you guys have seen. Um, I'm definitely going to make some more videos in the future of them, especially when they really start talking more. Um, they're talking, but it's like right now at this stage, it's like back and forth. They're like speaking Chinese here and then they got English and then they they kind of mix it up. So it's like I want to wait until they um, I'm going to wait until they really start getting more fluid with the language. And then, you know, I'll post some more videos and, you know, talk to them. You know, we make some videos of talking. Maybe I'll record my wife and I'm talking to them and whatnot. You guys can see. But, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just letting them grow right now. So I'm not really in a rush, but it's coming. So, yeah, that is it. That is the update. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for viewing. And uh, talk to you guys here soon.